to wrap up, do you have any final thoughts, comments, anything that we didn't touch on that you consider important? I think that although rheumatologists are certainly specialists, I think many of us will probably feel rather compelled to get back a little bit more to our internal medicine roots to really take on cardiovascular risk factor management and even prescribing and monitoring given that we use drugs that can adversely affect you know, lipid profiles and we're gonna probably have the greatest contact with many of our patients, even more than a once annual primary care visit. So I think both there's some knowledge gaps, but then frankly, there's some willingness gaps that we're gonna probably need to assume a greater role and responsibility for this aspect of people's disease and its management. And, and that's not gonna be welcome news to some perhaps where we're already feeling time pressures, but I think that some of these things, you know, just need to be both willingness and to think about how do we optimize practice. Again, it doesn't have to be that rheumatologists are always the prescriber. I think in many offices, that's just not realistic, but we can think through how do we better co-manage? How do we communicate more effectively? So I think that in that sense, that every rheumatologist can have both the responsibility, but the opportunity to improve outcomes for our patients in this arena.